Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology, gain times 7 and 8. Today we're going to talk about contrast and what it comes to our technology versus everything out on the market. Now, we've displayed the Supreme 8 and Supreme 7 multiple times, showing you that it is a different shade of black. Actually, matter of fact, that base for that technology is custom design. You can't go to a paint store and buy it. We had somebody custom design it. That's why people find it hard to try to mimic the paint because it's a very interesting shade. And it's still black, but it's just an odd, it has a different odd shade to it. Now, the technology, the way it's embedded in design, is designed to pull higher white levels than the average black screen. And we've done this demonstration with a black screen versus a Supreme 7, I think we did. All right, so I'll post at the bottom if you're curious to see that demonstration yourself. Now, as I said before, a lot of people don't realize, I'm not saying a lot of people, um, some people don't realize that black comes in multiple shades. There are so many different shades of black, it's not even funny. So, consider the fact that our technology is black, but it has uh, the ability to produce white levels. And when you match this against another black screen, you will see the difference between our technology and another black screen when it comes to white levels. Because as I said before, any black screen can produce contrast. The hardest thing for a black screen to produce is natural skin tones and white levels. Bright, beautiful colors also is a problem uh, for most black screens. So, something that a white and gray screen can never do, they cannot produce contrast. No matter how, how, you, how hard you try, how much contrast you, capability you have on your projector, um, how dark you have your environment, you will never ever be able to produce true contrast. It will never happen, and especially in an ambient environment. That is not going to happen. That's why we do a lot of demonstrations outside because we know that certain people can't go there. They can't go outside with that screen because that screen is going to fail. So any screen, as I said before, that can produce an image outside can produce one inside. And the reason why we use such a high power projector, just to show you, because people are thinking, they don't go lower when it comes to a projector, they think of higher when it comes to a projector. So just to let you know, even if you have a high projector with 4,300 lumens, or 5,000 lumens, or 10,000 lumens, it is still going to fail. You're just not going to get the image that you want. And when it comes to using an everyday black screen paint, it doesn't have our technology, you're just going to get a product that's going to come out dingy and dirty. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to display some snow scenes first, and then after that, we are going to do some demonstrations on um, uh, the contrast and so forth. All right, so moving some of my junk out of the way here in the shop. Finally got this place sorted out. I can't tell you about that project. That's something else that's going on later on today, but can't tell you about that. All right, so. First things first, let's move the block out of the way. Let's block in our projector. We're gonna show you a snowstorm. Now, as I said before, our technology has the brightest white levels when it comes to a, um, a black screen. Now, the piece you're seeing right here is actually coated with black house paint. And let me show you something. Now, I told you before that a lot of screens do this too. Black paint does not have angle gain capability, it doesn't. Some people think if they get everyday black paint and they paint this onto their screen, that they're gonna be able to pull off angle gain. No, it doesn't have the capability, it's just house paint. That's why when you look at a gray screen, I can take gray, bare, silver screen paint, whatever kind of mix and mix it together, it will all do the same thing. The minute you take it outside, it's gonna wash out. The minute you try to use contrast on it, it is gonna come out faded. It's all reacting in the same way. A white screen, white piece of paper, white bed sheet, there's nothing different between a white projection screen that has a 1.0 or a 2.0 and, and gain, and it's a white screen. It's gonna react the same way as your white wall, and it's gonna react the same way as a white bed sheet. Same thing with a gray screen. You can take a gray wall and paint it gray. It's gonna react the same way as gray screen paint. It doesn't make a difference. But if you notice when it comes to our black technology, we can show you the difference between a black screen and our black screen. We can show you the difference in the tone. Even if I do different tones on a gray screen or a white screen or whatever it may be, it's all gonna react the same way. They cannot pull contrast. It's literally just trying to squeeze water out of a stone, you're just not gonna get it. Now, when it comes to black technology, it's always gonna pull contrast. That's gonna happen regardless. But what you have to look at here is the fact that how the white level is gonna pan out. 
and you're going to see a difference when it comes to our technology, when it comes to white levels, and when it comes to white levels on other black screens. Alright, so we'll come over here because i got a few videos lined up over here already that I'm going to be selecting through this. We're going to come over here and we're going to look at skin tones. Because like I said, if a screen can't produce a uh, contract, can't produce proper white levels, then what's going to happen is you're going to pick up very dirty skin tones, very dirty backgrounds. And the problem you're going to have, well, some people say, well, I can just go out and I can just use everyday black paint you'll get this they'll think they'll get the same reaction no what you're going to get is you're going to get a dirty image as i'm getting right here because black paint can't produce angle gain and it can't produce real 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 what you call real uh white levels now sorry there's no sound to this so that's the difference So some people think, well, I can get a black piece of vinyl, vinyl, or I can get a black bed sheet, or whatever, and I can do the exact same thing. You can't do the same thing, because, like I said, it takes technology to be able to design a black screen to have the ability to produce white levels. It's not an easy task. And look at the angle gain on our technology. Anywhere we turn this camera, it screened at white level. It's going to come up beautiful. As I said before, many of my demonstrations, black screens are never going to have the same equal amount of white levels as a white or gray screen. That's a strong point of that screen. But keep in mind when it comes to contrast, it will have the ability to produce contrast. But the white levels on our technology may not be the match equal to white or gray, but they are extremely good as you can see. And our screens can go outside where other screen paints can't do that. Can't take a gray or white screen outside. That's why if you watch a movie on a white or gray screen, you got to wait until it's extremely dark outside. I say extremely dark. It's going to be dark outside. You cannot use that screen at 6 o'clock in the evening. It's not going to pop up. Our technology can produce images at 6 o'clock in the evening. Now, let's come over here. We're going to pull up a all-white screensaver. Now, this is an all-white screensaver. We'll get this to load up real quick. Hope it loads. Internet down here is a bit crazy. So that right there is an all-white screensaver right there. And that's to show you the difference between our white levels and the white levels that you're going to get off everyday black paint or even any kind of black surface. Our screens produce a higher white level. That what makes our technology different. Now, if this was using, if you're I'm using all gray screen, a gray screen should be demonstrating how their contrast levels work. Because if a gray screen or white screen can come out and pull out black contrast, like a black screen, then that's a pretty incredible screen. But it can't do it. All they're gonna do is concentrate on bright, beautiful colors because those brighter levels is what they're going to, that's all they have to lean on. But contrast, keep in mind, is everything. And it is everything. Any game, any movie, any sport, anything you watch involves contrast. As I said before, why would OLED spend all this money on a black tube or black screen or black LCD, whatever they call it, why would they spend the money on it? If you look at an OLED demonstration, the background is black. It's not gray. And you can't pull it off on a gray screen or white screen. So let's remove this off real quick. And let's go over to, hopefully it pulls up because Wi-Fi has been a bit temperamental down here. But let's see if we can pull something up here on a black. Let's see, let's go with, um, let's go with the star field. I like doing the star field. Sorry about that, people. Allergies. I have really bad allergies in the morning. That caused me to cough quite a bit. And it's uh, it becomes a bit of a headache sometimes, but I have to deal with it. All right, so now we're doing the black star field. All right, now, this right here, 
which I should have had set up already, which I did not have set up to begin with. Let's grab a piece of our piece of our gray. This is our gray. I have a piece of tape stuck to my foot. Let's grab a piece of our gray. If we can get it to stay a moment. Sorry if you got a, a glimpse of my dirty socks in the morning. I do apologize. I haven't had time to clean those bad boys. So we'll get a glimpse of our gray right there. Now, that's a gray screen paint right there. Can't produce contrast. Simple and plain. 4300 lumen projector, 1920 by 1200 WUXGA. Doesn't make a difference. It's just not going to pick up. Gray screens cannot produce contrast. They don't have the capability. White screens don't have it either. So when you go out and you buy a projector and you see that 20,000, 12,000, 10,000 to one, and you're thinking, wow, I'm gonna get really dark levels, not even gonna see it, it's not gonna happen. That's why, and like I said, to back up our claim on anybody who sells gray screen paint, that's why you will never see a demonstration on dark contrast with the lights on or even outside. Screen can't pull it up. And even if they say the screen is not designed for outside use, they still can't do it inside. Just can't do it, can't pull it off. Because if they could, that gray screen would match this with no problem whatsoever. I'm just saying, show me one demonstration, one demonstration where you can get that gray screen to look exactly like that. One demonstration. And I'll bet you it'll never be done. Because it's true. The only way they can make that screen look good it has to be in the dark. Now, let me see if I can drop my lighting because my light my lights up here are, are sensor I have censored lights so I have to turn them off because they are censored lights so they don't trigger off and I'm going to show you this kind of lighting just one little light bulb in the corner what we're getting so 4300 lumen projector we'll take our lights all together so you can see it for yourself so that light gray screen, even with your lights out on 4300 lumen projector, you are still getting a gray screen. That's what you're getting. See the difference between the two? So it doesn't make a difference if you're sitting in the dark, you're still getting a gray screen. Now if I were to put any lights on this environment, that screen automatically it's going to show its colors. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulight Rejection Technology Gain. Thank you all for your time and God bless. Just want to give you a deeper understanding on why the gray screens and white screens are going to be obsolete. And that's what they are. People don't want them. Because the bottom line is, you're not really getting the most from your projector. You're just not getting it. And this projector has a thousand to one. That's it in contrast. And I'm still going to get black levels. I can use a 200 to 1, and I'm still going to get black levels. But you'll never get that from that gray or white screen. Thank you all. I have to go and.